um, Prophet Fanny Fifth Ridley. I want to appreciate the Lord for the privilege to be able to release these words. On the 15th of September, 2020, I had a revelatory encounter and um, the Lord will have me publish it. The Lord will have me um, release it to the church and the nation. Now we are told in scriptures that when the Lord, uh, if one is positioned as a watchman and the Lord gives you a revelation and tells you to warn the people that if you don't want the people, then the sword and the verdict that will come as a result of your not obeying God will be on your head. But if you warn the people and the people refuse to listen to what the Lord is saying, then the judgment will not fall on you. It will be on the people. So with this in mind and um, with uh, you know the very strong conviction that I received from the Lord, I, I knew that this was a word that the Lord will have me release to the church and release to the nation. And I'm trusting the Lord that as it is written in Habakkuk chapter 2, that as I begin to declare this vision, that you will read it and you will run with it in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a prophetic alert to the church and to the nation of Nigeria. And we have stepped into a sensitive timeline in the spirit as a nation and a church. The Lord revealed to me that this is more or less being outside the threshold of a new dispensation. And this season will be characterized by a number of things. The Lord wants us to know what he's doing so that we can partner effectively with heaven. Amongst the various things that will be visible in this season, especially over the church in Nigeria, is that there's going to be a restoration of watchmen, of prophetic priests, of intercessors, with an increased emphasis on Isaiah 62, verse 6 to 7. Now, let me explain this a bit. I saw that uh, the Lord was saying that um, for a very long time in the church in Nigeria, that prophetic intercessors and people that used to stand on their walls to raise up lamentation and a cry for the nation had vacated that place that the Lord gave to them. And I saw a scroll being rehanded back to these individuals. And I see that it is the mercy of the Lord because the Lord wants to do a lot of things in the nation Nigeria. And so for that to be done, he is repositioning and giving back the prophetic priests, the watchmen, the intercessors. He's giving them back their mantles so that they can go back on their watchtowers and hear what the Lord is saying. I, it, 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 it's really a very sensitive season and it's a season where we must not toy with the word of the Lord. The Lord highlighted Daniel 7 verse 22, which signifies an era where judgment was given to the saints and where the time for the saints to possess the kingdom was come. Now, one of the strong um, words I received was Daniel 7.22. If you read that verse, you will see that the Bible said that the, the ancient of, of days came and sat on the throne and judgment was passed on behalf of the saints. I see that the saints have stepped into a season of favor. That in previous seasons, there were several things that were done against the church and it looks as if uh, it went without... Um, uh, no, nobody raised an eyebrow to that like you know the people did it and they just went scot free but in this season that we are in I saw that judgment was passed on behalf of the saints and many many uh, things that have been done against the church will be judged in this season it is a time for the persecuted and oppressed church to arise in strength and power now we know that 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 has to do with Nigeria we have um, people that that um uh, in the north, we've seen a certain level of uh, persecution. We've seen bloodbath. We've seen uh, people being killed and nothing really was done about it. In this season that we have stepped into, this new era, this new timeline that the Lord revealed to me, there's going to be judgment. The Lord says to watch out for the new leadership emerging in this season. He's raising prophetic parallels of David and Daniel. So when I had that revelation encounter, the Lord said, David and Daniel, that I'm raising a parallel of two kinds of leadership. David is the king that stays inside, you know, uh, uh, the court or what we we'll call the president or uh, the governor or those at the helm of affairs. And then Daniel is someone that, that also works alongside the David 
uh, works alongside the king to release counsel that is important. In this season that we are in, the Lord is raising this parallel of both the David and the Daniel. We are going to see a new leadership emerge in Nigeria, in all spheres, in governance, in business, in politics especially. And then we're going to be seeing that the spirit of counsel will be very strong in this season. That is a, you know, a prototype of what we see in Daniel, that these people will be given favor by the Lord. And one way or the other, they will find themselves at the place of authority and the spirit of counsel will be upon them. They'll be able to give the right wise counsel to whoever is, you know, a prophetic type of a king that the Lord will position them to. The authority of heaven will be mighty upon them. Governmental authority will be backed with boldness. These are people that will not be afraid of what will, 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 will go on. You know, they'll be so bold to release the word of the Lord. Wisdom and counsel will characterize this new leadership like Elijah the Tishbite. That, that was one of the words the Lord gave to me strongly. He said, you know, people will just see them appear on the scene and there'll be one Wondering where did these ones come from? So, like Elijah the Tishbite, they will be, it will be like they just appeared on the scene. Like David, there will be a man all after God's heart. The Bible said concerning David that he was a man after God's heart, a man that will do all his will. We'll see that in Acts 13, verse 22. So the Lord is raising a prototype of the David that will do the will of God. The Daniels and the Josephs will be caught men, both spiritually and physically. Psalm 82, I saw that the Lord is saying, Arise, O God, judge the earth, will be activated and expressed and fulfilled through them. So this is a season where the Lord will have the, uh, those um, intercessors, those kings, those prophets, you know, to begin to enter into the court of heaven and receive the decree of the Lord and release it as verdict on the face of the earth. Now, amongst the other things that I saw the Lord doing in the nation is that the Lord told me that a mighty Cyrus has been raised in the nation and the spirit of the Lord will rest upon him mightily like Jehu, he will write fear. I, I saw that, you know, these leaders will be very fierce in their action and they will throw down the enemies of the Lord the same way Jehu told, told them to throw down Jezebel. So this is a season where the Jezebel spirit will be judged in the nation. The Jehus will arise, they will write fiercely and they will judge that spirit. Also, the nature of the spirit of oppression in them will be so fierce like that of Ishmael. His hands will be against everyone until swift judgment is released on the perpetrators of wickedness in the land. I saw, I saw the Lord saying that, you know, I'm going to put his hand on the neck. He's going to touch spheres. Things that have been swept all under the carpet for years. Uh, uh, people that have looted corruption that have taken place and it looks as if nothing was done. I saw that the Lord raised this mighty set of cyruses and the, their, their hands will begin to go into spheres, go into different... Um, an organization and will begin to uncan a lot of things. There will be a huge sign of this on the 1st of October. Hallelujah. So likewise for the church, I saw that the Lord was not just releasing a word for the nation, he was also releasing a church for the, for the church. For the church, a new leadership is emerging. Like Joshua the high priest, the filthy garment that has made us ineffective in the previous season is being removed. I, I, I saw That's another court operation. I saw that as judgment was passed, passed on behalf of the saints, that uh, the filthy garment, part of what was spoken over the church, that thing that made us not to be able to stand effectively to release the word of God with power that, that has turned to like a mockery to the church. I see that in this new era that we are in, that the filthy garment is being removed. The former constraints of the previous season are being removed. This you can see in Zechariah chapter 6, verse 1 to 10. There's a demand from heaven on the new leaders to walk in the ways of the Lord and to keep his charge. Now, when you read Zechariah uh, 3, verse 1 to 11, you will see where the, um, the Lord told the angel, the angel to remove the filthy garment. And then a word was given to Joshua, the high priest. He said, if you will keep my charge, if you will walk in my ways, you will stand in my court, you will stand in my presence. I will give you a place and this and this and this is what will happen. I see that in this season, the Lord is demanding high level of purification and purging. I saw a new wave of fire and glory hitting the church in Nigeria. Zechariah 2.5 is 
highlighted. If you read Zechariah 2, 5, it said, I am the Lord, I'm the glory in your midst, and the fire round about it. So it was a wave of fire and a wave of glory. The Lord stands in our midst as the glory and then round about us as fire. Uh, uh, regarding this operation, he, it will perform a dual role of purging and purification and exaltation and glorification. When this fire wave hits the earth, we're going to see purging, we're going to see purification, and we're also going to see exaltation. While the Lord is purging us, the Lord is going to be exalting the church. Isaiah 2 verse 2 was also highlighted. The mountain of the Lord's heart shall be exalted above all nations. But you see, before that will be fulfilled, the first thing the Lord will Will do is that he will purge us so that we can offer an offering in righteousness. I also heard the word regrant. It means to grant back, to grant again or anew. I saw the several mantles phase operation gives resources, territories, power, vision, etc. that were lost in the previous seasons are being restored. It, uh, when I saw the word regrant, I saw like a scroll that was handed. And the Lord began to speak to me that uh, several of his children, because of hardship, because of uh, the cares of this world, because of negligence, and because of a whole lot of things, we have lost mantles, we've lost operations, we've lost gifts, we've lost resources, we've lost powers, we've lost vision, we've not been able to function at the level that he wanted us to function. But in this new season, I see that the Lord is restoring that. that. When I saw that word regrant, which has to do, to do with to grant back, I saw that the Lord was giving us back those mantles, giving us back those spheres. Some gifts of the spirit that were lost will be restored back in this season. Some resources that were lost will be restored back in this season. Some vision that were lost will be restored back to this season. And I join heaven to say amen in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, uh, what I'm trying to say is that, that, that there were scrolls, there were visions, there were things that were lost in previous season that are being restored in forms of scrolls with a deep sense of urgency. There's a deep sense of urgency for the church in Nigeria to fulfill her prophetic mandate. And we say, yes, Lord, we'll not disappoint you in this season in the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, I heard the word of turn. Uh, what is upturn? Upturn has to do with you taking, you know, having the part that is usually at the bottom. You turn it upwards. And what the Lord was showing me is that this is a prophetic parable. The Lord, you know, through this pandemic, the lockdown and all that has happened in this season has been reshuffling and has been placing. The Lord is shuffling and he's replacing. We're going to see organizations, we're going to see individuals, we're going to see pastors, we're going to see ministries, we're going to see politicians that in previous season had been on the top. We're going to see that the Lord shuffles and then places them downwards. And we're going to see people that have been hidden, have been at the backside of the desert. You know, we're going to see that the Lord is elevating them and placing them at the helm of affairs. The Lord will have me release this word to the body of Christ. These words are true. These words are yes. And I say a mighty amen. I, I, I believe God that as you listen to these words, as you read them on my website, www.fannyequipradio.com, or as you listen to this broadcast, that you will say a yes with me and you will partner with heaven to ensure that the counsel of the Lord is done in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord bless you mightily in Jesus' name.